Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of You and I Builder Bytes. Today, we're diving into an exciting tool for troubleshooting and enhancing your ServiceNow experiences, the Next Experience Developer Tools Chrome extension. By the end of this episode, you'll know how to install the extension and understand its basic functionality. For additional links and resources, check out the article linked here or in the video's description down below. Let's get started. The Next Experience Developer Tools Chrome extension is a powerful browser-based tool designed to make troubleshooting and optimizing Next Experience pages easier. Whether you're diagnosing performance issues or inspecting page elements, this extension streamlines your workflow and provides deep insights into your ServiceNow pages. So let's go ahead and install the extension. First, we're going to go ahead and open up the Chrome Web Store, and we're going to look up the Next Experience Developer Tools. We're going to go ahead and click on it, and we're going to first verify that it was published by ServiceNow right here. Perfect. We're going to click Add to Chrome, then we're going to click Add Extension, and that's it. We're going to have different videos that go into more detail about the inspector and the profiler. But first, let's take a look at the inspector. We start off with a home page that show us a list of widgets that have different information on them for us. You can click on the little information button to get more information on what each widget means. So for example, we have here a list of undelivered events. And if you want more information on what that means, you can see it right there. Then you've got the components tab where you can imagine that this uh, displays the page's structure, which includes a hierarchical view of all components on the page. You can click on individual components to see their properties, the event bindings, and basically a whole bunch of information about the components, everything you could ever want, basically. Um, you can use the search bar to quickly search up a specific component by name or by ID. You have the events tab here. And what this tab does is that it shows a list of all of the events that have been fired by our page, whether it was while the page was loading or when we took an action on it. Then we have the logs. We can see both server side and client side logs here. And then we have traces. We'll go more into details about what each tab does in the more specific videos later on. We can also pause the communications with the page we can upload or download our data, and there's a bunch of settings that we can look at here. Of interest, you can check out the Service Workers tab, compact the user interface, you can enable usage tracking or disable it, and you can set what your default tab can be. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the profiler. This tab is going to provide detailed performance metrics for the page, which includes load times and shows any rendering issues. It's going to highlight slow loading components or scripts and offer recommendations for optimizations. The tab might load up blank like it is now. What you can do is you can click on the record button to start the recording or click on the reload button to record the page load. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and wait for the page to load. You can see all of the events that it's recording. And we're going to go ahead and let that finish capturing. Once we are pretty satisfied with what we've captured, we're going to go ahead and hit done. And it shows us a flame graph. We have a timeline, a flame graph, and a pie here that shows us our selected events. We'll go into details into what all of these means in a later video. And that's it for this episode. Using the Next Experience Developer Tools Chrome extension, can save you hours when debugging. Whether you're verifying component configurations or analyzing performance, it really simplifies your workflow and it makes you way more efficient. Now you've learned how to install the Next Experience Developer Tools Chrome extension and taking your first look at its capabilities. Say that five times fast. In the next episode, we'll dive into the Inspector tab and explore its functionality in detail. Thanks for watching. Check out the article for resources and step-by-step -step instructions. And don't forget to try this out on your own ServiceNow instance. Like and share for more episodes of You and I Builder Bytes. See you next time.